Fiona, congratulations, silver medal. How do you feel? Ah, oh, excited with that. It was a pretty good time when I finished, and I thought oh, it'll be pretty hard to beat. But uh, yeah, Jess came through in the end with a better time, and all credit to her. My run was pretty good. I don't think I could have done much better. So it was a long, agonising wait, and eventually you finished with silver. What were you thinking as, as competitor after competitor went through? Well, I, I guess I was pretty. You know, I knew it was all right. I was pretty relaxed about it. It was a good run, and I couldn't have done any better, really. So, as the paddlers after me picked up a few mistakes, you know, I knew that I was pretty safe. How's your preparation coming into this event? Uh, well, the World Cups haven't been going very well for me this year. I came fifth at the Euros, and the, you know, I knew I had it in me. But you know, just each World Cup race that went, I had you know a few mistakes that, with touches or time losses that just put me out of the game. And uh, yeah, coming here, we, we had a bit of a training camp here in July and a couple of weeks here before this race. And uh, I've been pretty good on the water. The, the course suits me well. It's quite a physical course. And uh, today there was quite a lot of tough moves and I just had to stick to my plan on those moves. Yeah, today everything went well. What were your tactics going into the race? Yeah, in the semi final, I chose to go a little bit safe, really. I uh, basically on gate 19 decided to go for the spin option in the semi final because I knew that I was very safe, I could do it. And that would hopefully get me into the final. And had a little bit of a wait at the bottom of the semi final, thinking I might not be in, I might be. And then in the end, with my coach Mark Ratcliffe, we decided to go for the forward move in 19 in the final, and it came good. I say it's been a difficult season coming into this event, but it must be exceptionally special to put down your best performance of the season in the final when it really counts. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, everything came together really on that run and uh, I tend to do all right for the big races. It's pretty good. <laughs> Next year we move to an Olympic qualification year on the course in London. How do you think you'll fare there? Yeah, I mean, London is a tough course and, uh, you know, obviously it is my home site and I'll have more time on that course before next year. Uh, you know, the World Cup race didn't go too well for me there this year, so, you know, anything can happen, but just uh, plug away at those moves, the future moves, and uh, try and get it super solid ready for the race next year. Well, congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you on the podium. Thanks very much. Yeah.